praise you, Abba. You are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever. Endeavors your faithfulness. Abba, Father, let those who have ears hear. And please remove any and every every impediment that may block the ears, that may block my words properly. Forgive me my sins, as I forgive those who have sinned against me. Selah. 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 Whew. Isaiah. 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 Chapter 7. During the days of Achaz, the son of Yodam, the son of Yeziahu, the king of Judah, Retzin, the king of Aram, and Peacock, the son of Meliah, the king of Israel. And these people advanced on Jerusalem to attack it, but were unable to conquer it. It was told to the house of David that Aram and Ephraim had become allies. Interesting. Achaz's heart began to tremble as did the hearts of his people, like forest trees shaken by the wind. So now it's just, you got Ephraim <clears throat> teaming up with someone else, allies, Achaz, Achaz, the king of Judah, heart begins to tremble. But there's a word that must come. Then the word of Yah, then Yah said to Yeshiyah, Isaiah, go out. Go out now to meet Achaz, you and your son Shear. Yes, you. And at the end of the aqueduct from the upper pool on the road to the to the launderers, to the launderers field and say to him, Take care. Stay calm. Not afraid. Take care. Stay calm. Unafraid, don't be demoralized. Take care, stay calm. Unafraid, don't be demoralized. One more time. Take care, stay calm. Unafraid, don't be demoralized. By who? Mm -hmm. By these smoldering stumps of firewood, by the blazing of rich and around the sun. Or Remiliah, or become, or because Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remah, yeah, have been plotting against you, thinking we will advance, we will invade Judah, tear it apart, divide it amongst ourselves, and appoint the son of Tebal as king here. So, all right. See these right here. Praise you, Father, you are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever. Endeavors your faithfulness. Let's just go right to what Yah says. First of all, take care. Stay calm. Unafraid. Don't be demoralized to the king of Judah. Take care. Stay calm. Unafraid. Don't be demoralized. This is what Yahweh Elohim says. It won't occur. It won't happen. For the head of Aram is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Ritzin. In 65 years, Ephraim will be broken and will cease to be a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of Remaliah. Without firm faith, without firm faith, Without firm faith, let's get a little close on that, right? Without firm faith, you will not be firmly established. Without firm faith, you will not be firmly established. Once again, without firm faith, you will not be firmly established. Yah again spoke to Achaz. He said, Ask Adonai your God who gave 
ask Yahweh, your Elohim, to give you a sign. Ask it anywhere, from the depths of hell to the heights above. But Achaz answered, I won't ask. I won't test Yah. Then the prophet said, Listen here, house of David. It, <coughs> Listen here, house of David. Is trying my people's patience such a small thing for you? Is trying people's patience such a small thing for you? That you must try the patience of God as well? Therefore, Yahweh himself will give you people a sign. Please pay attention. The young woman will become pregnant, bear a son, and his name will be Emmanuel. God is with us. By the time he knows enough to refuse evil and choose good, he will have to eat curd, milk, and wild honey. Yes, before the child knows enough to refuse evil and choose good, the land whose two kings you dread will be left abandoned. Yahweh Elohim will bring the king of Asher on you, your people, and your father's house. These will be the days worse than any we have ever known since Ephraim broke loose from Judah. Yes, when that day comes, Yah will, will whistle for the fly and the farthest streams of Nile in Egypt and for the bee in the land of Asher. And they will come and settle, all of them, in steep valleys, in holes in the rocks, and on all thorn bushes and brambles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When that day comes, Yah will shave with the razor, Higher beyond the Euphrates River. Now, this is all like whew, I'm reading through here, and as we're going through the book of Isaiah, I am consciously taking out and giving out milk. But this uh, section right here is quite meaty, but I'm not going to go through that on a meat eater level because, for instance, right? Because my goal is, is for all to repent. <laughs> all right. And then the most high through his spirit will teach you even deeper. When that day comes, y'all will shave with a razor higher beyond the Euphrates River. That is who? The king of Asher. The head of the hair between the legs. The head of the hair between the legs. Whoa. And get rid of the beard as well. Think about this. So the other day that's coming. And what y'all gonna do? He gonna shave. Mm -hmm. And he gonna shave with the razor that come beyond the Fetish River. So the outsider gonna come in and be the blade of y'all. Mm -hmm. The king of Asher. Mm -hmm. The head and the head between the legs. Whoa. And get rid of the beard as well. Your beard and that hair between your legs gonna get shaved. Mm -hmm. By a razor who is the king of Asher, who is beyond the Euphrates River. The outside will come in and shave your beard and your head and the hair between your legs. Make you nice and feminine. That's crazy. When that day comes, a man will raise a young cow and two sheep. Will they produce in abundance? Question mark. No. He will have to eat curd. Thank you, Father. I love you so much. Thank you, Father. He will have to eat curd milk. Indeed, everyone left in the land will eat curd milk and wild honey. See, I... It comes to the point where, like, we got to start over and drink milk. Don't even deserve to eat meat. That's those that I hear. Mm. When that day, look at this. Let's just go back real quick. Let's just, let's travel for a second. Because we got to review, because this is very important. And I'll ask for all of you to really understand and try to study on your own what that really means. That day. When that day comes, let's go back to Isaiah chapter eight, right? When that when that day comes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when that day comes, when that day comes, you know, and it's 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 um. Please study what that means when that day comes. When that day comes. 
Yeshayahu, Isaiah 723 right here. When that day comes, wherever there once were a thousand great vines worth a thousand pieces of silver, there will be only briars and thorns. One will go there to hunt with a bow and arrow because all the land will be briars and thorns. You won't visit hills once work with the hoe for the fear of the briars and thorns. It will be good only for pasturing cattle and being trampled down by sheep. It's only good for the animals. Used to be good for you, but it's only good for the animals. When that day comes, shalom, let those who have ears hear.